So for the first question, we had these four parts that first one was a binary number, seven bit binary number that I want to convert it to an unsigned decimal number. Over here, see I said that use very large notation, exclude problem D. Please, please read the question carefully because you may lose point for not paying attention to, for example, this part because I wanted it in the um, <clears throat> very log notation. Okay, so <clears throat> we have a binary number. Our binary number is 1000111. So if you want to go from binary to decimal, we all know that this is two to the power of zero, two to the power of one, two to the power of two, two to the power of three, four, five, and six. So 2 to the power of 6 is 64 plus 2 to the power of 2 is 4 plus 2 plus 1, right? So that will give us 71. If you left your answer like this, you would lose some point because I ask you to write it in a very log notation. Very log notation is to define how many bits we have, 7. We have a decimal number, 70. Okay, next number. <clears throat> next one is 1000, the same number as we had in part A, only that this time we want to convert it to a signed decimal. Okay, so the number is 1000111. If it is assigned, we have to look at the most significant bit. What is the most significant bit? Is 1. So our number is for sure a negative number, right? So I recommend you to write it here. Negative. 7 bit decimal now go ahead and find the decimal of that number so we know that this is a negative number so since it is a negative number if i want to see what is the value of that negative number we have to find the two's complement of this number so the two's complement of this number first step we have to negate each bit so zero one 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 zero 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 and the second step we had to add one to this number. So that would be one, zero, zero, one, 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 zero. Now, this is the magnitude of that negative number, which is two to the power of zero, one, two, two to the power of three, two to the power of four, and two to the power of five. So we're gonna have 32 plus 16 plus eight plus one. That will give us 48, 57, right? So it's negative 7 bit, decimal 57. I have seen some of you forget about, forgot about this step. So please be careful about that. If you want to find the two's complement, you have to do to perform two steps and not one. Now, we want to go from... I mean, part C <clears throat> is 1011, one zero one one, and we want to convert it to a signed decimal. Again, the most significant bit is 1. So I'm sure that I have a negative number. How many bits I have? 4. What am I converting to? Decimal. Now, this is 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3. Is this right? No. Why? Because I have a negative number. So we have to first find the two's complement, then the magnitude of that number is the magnitude of our negative number. So the two's complement, first step, negating each bit. Second step, adding a one. So we have zero, one, zero, one. Now, zero, one, zero, one is number five. So this is negative four bit decimal five. Okay? Now, the next number that we have is I mean, the next part is part D, so I'm going to write part D over here. We want to convert negative 4 to a signed binary number with a 12 bit of integer, okay? First thing, first of all, I mentioned in the question that I know don't need this one in very large notation. <clears throat> this is a negative number, so I'm sure that I should have a 1 on the most significant bit. Now, let's find negative 4 first. So negative 4, number 4 is what? It is 0, 0, 
zero one zero zero right so that is number four if i want to find negative four i have to find the two's complement so one zero one one plus a one that is zero one plus one is zero with a carry of one one with a carry of zero and that is a one so one one zero zero is the correct negative four number negative four but i asked you to write it in a 12 bit integer a 12 bit binary what does that mean it means that i have to extend my number now i have a negative number so i have to sign extend this number since i have a one on the most significant bit i'm going to extend it for eight more ones so one two three four five six seven eight this is a 12 bit binary representation of negative four 